Hi everyone, my name is Manon. Today I want to talk about how to use MyNet to solve the loader and this question. This is the circuit that we want to solve. We can see that there is this question is this circuit is a four loop circuit and there is a super node inside this circuit. The formation of super node is there is a independent or dependent voltage source in between two non reference node. There only we can form a super node in the circuit. And to solve super node uh, super node problems we have to produce two equations. One is super node equation and the other one is the is the support equation. Next we have to transfer all the information by using manual manual calculation. Then this is all the calculation and we have to transfer all the equation into the matrix form. Here I have already transferred the matrix into the into the map. Y is the matrix in the most front of this equation and the I is the last part of the matrix equation. And by using the equation V equals to inverse one of matrix Y times I we can find the answer for for the all four node. Now, now let's run the program. Here is the answer we get from the net, and this is the answer we get from manual operation. And the answer both answers are the same. Next is mesh and mesh analysis circuit, and this circuit will explain by my partner. Hi everyone. Now I will continue. I will continue to show you all how to solve the electric circuit analysis using MATLAB. So just now, my partner is already show you all how to solve the mesh node analysis using MATLAB. So uh, I will continue it to show you all how to solve the mesh analysis using MATLAB. So first of the question that given is this question. Is this question, and it is given the question of three loops and what they have to find is the current flow through the RB which is here and the power supply by the 10 volt voltage source is here so to find the current flow to RB we have to find out the current flow through each loop so to solve it we have to find out the three current first so we have to redraw the diagram and label each loop with I1, I2 and I3. Then we have to express the equation. And this is the equation that we obtain from loop 1. This is the equation we obtain from loop 2. And this is the equation that we obtain from loop 3. After we obtain the equation from pre loop, we have to convert it into a matrix form. This is the matrix form that we have covered. Why you have to convert it to matrix form? This is because in the MATLAB, we cannot straight away enter the equation because the system are cannot detect it, so they only can detect it using matrix form. So we have to convert it into matrix form. So next, we have to go to the program. So this is the code I have typed it before. So we have to let the X be the first part of the matrix which is this one and the y as the second part of matrix we has this one so we have to inverse the x so we can straight away multiply the x inverse x to y to get the current of each loop the equation is i equal to z multiplied by y so after we will run the program we obtain that the I1 is 0 0.4753 The I2 is 0 0.1975 The I3 is 0 0.2345 Ampere So after that, what is the main point is coming is The question required to find the current flow through the RB Which is IRB And how we have to find it? We have, and found we have to find the current flow through IRB Actually, it is easy. We just have to mark minus I3 minus I2, which is the current that we obtained from the previous equation. 
After that, we will obtain the answer, which is 0 0.0370 ampere. And the last part is the power supplied by the 10 voltage source. So the equation that we have to use is P equal to VI. Since the voltage source is in the loop 1, so we have to use the current in the loop 1, which is I1. So by using the equation, the value that we obtain is 4.753 watt. So this is the answer that we obtained using MATLAB. That's all. Thank you.